Okay, so the first thing I will fully want you to understand about a keypad mobile PCB is that it has the most integrated connection than any other phone. The reason why I say that is because if you look on this PCB right here or on any keypad mobile PCB, you will notice that it has only two bigger eyes. It's not like that of an Android phone in which you will see a lot of eyes. So understanding these two bigger ICs and understanding all the points on a keypad phone, understanding all these points on a keypad phone, you will be able to solve any problem. And I will make you understand all these right here on this video so that you will be able to solve any type of fault or understand any type of fault on a keypad phone. Okay, so what I will want you to fully understand on this video is that this CPU is integrated with many ICs. It's not like that of an Android phone that you will see the charging IC, the sound IC, the network IC, and blah, blah, blah. So on this PCB, most of those ICs are being integrated with this bigger IC right here. And I know that you know very well that this bigger IC on any keypad phone is the CPU okay so i want you to understand that in this pcb there is nothing like the power ic there is nothing like the sound ic so the power ic and the sound ic and any other ic on this pcb are integrated on this cpu except the network ic which is this ic right here and the charging IC, which is this right here, which is always the six pin IC on any keypad phone. But this charging IC right here is not like that of an Android phone. The only thing that this charging IC does on this keypad phone is to regulate the voltage. It's like a voltage regulator. It stabilizes the voltage that charges the battery only. Okay. That is why you can easily jump at this charging IC but when you jump at it directly the phone will charge but there will be no signal that is because this charging IC right here has a signal to tell the CPU that you need to show on the screen that this phone is charging you need to show that this phone is fully charged it's not like that other ICs on the Android phone, on other Android phone that has the charging signal on the charging IC, this one only has the charging voltage. Then with the signal, with the signal line that indicates on your screen, that tells the CPU to indicate on your, your screen that the charger has been connected into this phone. Okay, so right now I can tell that you know that most ICs are fully integrated with this CPU. So there is nothing like, yeah, because I will get a message uh, like, uh, okay, so where is the keypad? Where is the button ICs on this PCB? I always get that message. I want you to understand that all those connections on those buttons are coming from this CPU. That is why you can easily solve many problems on a keypad phone by reballing the CPU or changing the CPU because all the connections are coming from the CPU. So you can see four highlighted ICs on this PCB right here. We just have the CPU, we have the network IC, then we have the charging IC, then we have the CPU crystal oscillator right here. So you just have to chill right here because there are other points on this PCB in which you can solve a lot of problems using those points. I will start by these two points right here. On most keypad phones, you will always see these two points right here, which is not named like the GSM network points that you see right here. This one is always unnamed. What I want you to understand about these two points right here, I want you to understand that they are here to help you jump up charging problems in case you are having problems with the charging pins right here. Okay, so for example, if you are trying to change this charging port right here and the positive terminal peels off, you can easily jump at it from this pin right here to the charging connector. 
to the charging charging positive connector right here this other pin on the other side is the gnd in which is the earth that you can connect it on any side on this pcb that you know that it's the earth and this one is the positive 5 volt of the charging line and you can see that if you check the line right here you'll see that it's not connected to any earth right here so you if you test this pin right here you will see that it's connected to other two different parts on the mobile pcb and you can use your multimeter to do that but just looking at this with the experience that i have i know where they are connected to this pin right here is connected to this capacitor right here and this is the capacitor in which it receives the 5 volt from this charging connector right here. And if you check again, you will see that this pin is connected to this part right here, which is VCG, VCHG. So you can still jump uh, your charging 5 volt from this pin right here, from this port right here to this charging connector. So the charging 5 volt leaves this pin this capacitor and this point right here directly to this charging regulator right here so i hope you fully understand that so i don't want to see any message on my inbox asking me how to jump a 5 volt how to jump a the charging pin on any keypad phone so this video is very helpful to you. So what about the other pins right here? If you turn on this PCB right here, you will see that it has other jumper options points right here. Okay, so I will want to start with this one, which is the TX. This TX helps you when you are trying to unlock or solve software problems on this PCB. It helps the, the, your PC detect this phone in flash mode. So if you are trying to unlock this phone and maybe you are finding the boot key you are pressing the other keys for the phone to connect in flash mode and it, it's not connecting what you're going to do is that you are going to open the phone then you are going to jump a cable on this tx point then let it on any gnt so you are just going to jump a cable right here let a cable right here then connect the cable to gnt of the phone then connect your battery then you will be able to connect the phone in flash mode so as soon as you are done solving your software problem you will have to disconnect back the cable so this point right here helps you helps your pc detects this phone in flash mode okay good so we have the other point right here which is v part in case you are changing the battery connector right here and the positive pin peels off you can easily jump at it from this v part we have gp pin right here we have dm which are the data pins of the charging port so you can jump at the data pins which are two pins from this dp and the dm then we have the vchg so all these three pins right here are connected to the charging port so you can easily do jumper from there and apart from that any other thing that you see on this pcb is connected directly to the cpu so that is what you will need to understand there are way many ways to jump at these key problems right here but i want you to understand that all of them are connected to the cpu okay so if you love this video make sure you hit that like button then subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos because i'm going to make a lot of educational videos on how you can fix a lot of things okay so see you next time